WNGP Dead and Gone. Right, you're listening to WNYU FM New York, and this is the great debate, number one of hardcore, <laughs> and it features, I'm going to ask all you guys to introduce yourselves so people know your voices. Go ahead. Steve Go ahead. Martin, In Effect Records, uh, X Agnostic Front. Pete Colvin, Signal. Lou Signal, Sam Evacuate Records. Adam Born Again. Charles Rorschach. Sam Born Again. Okay, now we're going to work it like this since it was sort of a, a challenge by um, you know, the Rorschach Born Against crew to bring up some issues about In Effect and Big Business of Hardcore. We're going to have you guys kind of put out a couple of the issues that are bothering you about what they're doing in the business of hardcore. So, go ahead. Okay, well, we've, we've been accused uh, many times of lying about your band and your record label. What I would like to know right now is um, your band has been censored by his record label. I want to know how you respond to that and how we could possibly be lying about that. You can't print bad words on your records. Well, let me, let me tell you how the procedure goes for that. Each band has an individual decision to make in that case. The case is, you say, you have these profanities on your record. They're, we've already like screened the record by a whole bunch of different record stores, mom and pop stores, chain stores, bigger stores, smaller stores, all different kinds of stores. These stores are the ones that won't take it because of that if it's printed on the lyric sheet. But if you want, there's the option, as we did with the Sick of It All record, Put like the lyrics to one song or a few songs or whichever song you want on there, and you know you can omit the profanities if you want, and then get the record in there with an address inside the record saying send for this send for the lyrics to this address. Then you're getting over on these stores because they don't realize that they're still selling the same thing. It would be censorship if we told them we won't put out your record the way the songs are written. We won't let you sing these songs. But this way, every kid who wants can still get those lyrics. Um, Every kid who wants. And the reason we said to do that, you know, to put the lyric sheet like that, is because we want our record to be everywhere. Because we played, we went on the DRI tour, and we played the smallest places in the world, and our records were there. But like you guys, you guys put out a record, you have to send away for it. And kids like in Biloxi, Mississippi, don't even know who to fuck, you know, who to write to, oh. whatever. Oh, no. Ouch. <laughs> the thing, the, that's the thing. We could, I mean, finally, we could reach people that will never reach ever, and we're reaching them this way. Or oh, like the kids who came up to us was like, it was amazing to see your record in a shopping mall. Oh, if that's a crime, whatever. But they said it's amazing to see your record there and not have to wait nine months to get it through the mail, warped and scratched. Or then there's the other issue that um, this kid Dave Koenig, who I who I don't know, I've never seen, never seen him in a show, but I hear he might be like out here tonight or whatever. I don't know said that when I said like it's getting getting those records into those stores helps a band and helps a band sustain themselves through their royalties which we always pay them on time every four and six months I know that none of you know how that works but I know that that helps the bands and we say that and this kid is telling me in a letter that he wrote that I didn't bring it here with my notes the way you guys did he told me that it's better that like someone like I, I said is it better that someone like TDK or Memorex or Scotch or 3M yeah, should get that money get the is, band's yeah. money. Well, well, he was advocating right, home not, taping for the kids not, who couldn't find the records. We're going to talk about the, the things that us three have said. And so bring uh, some more so we could get We'd like to know. know what is, you say that are. it's the band's choice to put whatever they want on their record. Sure is. Yeah. Would you, has anybody put whatever they want, want on their record? Has anybody put all their lyrics on it? Oh, no. I don't know. There is no coercion. Right there is no coercion. What do you think I hold this guy down? Why is Scatterbrain scatterbrain now? Because, because two new guys came into the band and they were sick of being ludicrous. Because they wanted to change it because I know that their ooh offensive name wouldn't sell in Kmart. And what it comes down to is it's, it's a cop out. It's a cop out because they, they changed something. And that has nothing to do with anyone sitting here. But the the label, see, there's this five people in Scatterbrain, and they made that decision. We can't make anybody do something no, they don't want to do. We were talking about how hardcore just before was about having a backbone. That doesn't sound like having a backbone. Well, me. then you maybe you should no, call up Tommy Christ. I'll give you his phone number, and you guys can <laughs> call him up and discuss it with him. What can I tell you? See, that's the band's individual choice. You, you know, know how we didn't say, oh, you guys got to change your name. They wanted to, because they've been at this for so long. 
They think. Maybe no, we I, don't, just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy that. I think what happened is the label showed up and said, and said listen, we're going to sell it a million more stores. And were you know, there? Do you know how he personally? No, no, but, but, no, but I, know, I, know these, I know these things work. I know how I know how, how do you know they work? work? Do you work? Oh, okay. well, let's not yell at each other. Okay. Coercion. Who's coercing anybody? Coercion. I'm not, obviously, you, you don't. But we signed anything. the contracts that in effect. How he said, well, we won't tell you to do anything you don't want to do. And we can show you the contract where it says we have complete control over artistic things, whatever we want. Don't you think it that was it, our decision it, not it, to put the lyrics in there? Because, because we like wanted to keep the example like you right? these kids and are saying they didn't have to wait to get through the mail. I have I, a, a thing that I have a grievance with, with all these kids who are saying, I know how this big business works, I know how that works. How do you know? Do you work there? Who do you know who works in my office? Do you, you sit you, next to me at You work? can go into any mall in the country and buy a Guns N' Roses record with all the bad words that we all know of. You know why? Record. And I'll tell you why that is. Because Geffen is one of the biggest companies in the recording business. And they can say, if you don't take this record, then we won't give you fill in the blank. We won't give you share. We won't give, or we are distributors. You, you, you could have that. challenged that so easily. You, you could have said, listen, in, in your letter. Yeah, we could say, we won't give you letter, um, agnostic. Uh, no, no, you, <laughs> you, you could have said, you won't get this no latest in street face. band. And, and, and they would say, yeah, we don't care because they say we don't Joe care next week. because the kids will tape it. Anyway. See, you don't understand that there, besides New York and L.A., there's a whole vast country in between there. Which I'm sure none of you guys ever, that. ever, and been to these places. I know they none don't of you care. Done this. They don't care about your about your straight edge hardcore. They don't care about NYHC. It means nothing to them because the mom and pops, the Venuses of those areas, are piled high with Madonna and Guns N' Roses, and that's how they make their money. That's how they feed their kids, selling off of these records. And is that how you make your money marketing these records to people who just don't care? Who just don't care? Marketing if they don't care, they don't kids. buy the records. So we're not we give marketing to what stores or to kids? We give kids, we to kids who kids. want to buy these records the chance to buy them. And, and we're told and, that that's wrong. And you also send out them at the same time that it's okay to censor records. That it's that it's okay I, to put out records yeah. without, without the bad words on them. Well, that's, it, that's if if the know. band wants it, it, it that way. Explain this. The reason we did this is so it would get into a record chain like and if you're so if you're so, so like the, the so that's a compromise. And you compromise. They want to make. You're compromising your music. No, they're not, because the music is still there. You didn't change the name of your songs. We didn't change the name. Well, it, had, it comes in they a different form on the so demo. Fine. But when, Why didn't they abbreviate the word justice? Why did they just abbreviate the one? Because there's some idiots because in the Midwest who find well, the why BS one. Wait, 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 can I say so why, do you the, why do you patronize those idiots in the Midwest? Can I say something? It's then? not the kids that we're patronizing. It's not the stores that we're patronizing. We're trying up. to get the kids in there because if we don't, they're going to tape it and the band won't survive. We won't sell the records. The kids won't get the records that they want. Is it better for the kids not to have the record so we put our curses in so it doesn't get into the Midwest? But, but or is it better that it gets to the Midwest, the kids hear the music, they hear our message? But but they could have gotten the records very easy. Dead, dead yeah, through the mail order. No, no, no. Through, right. So if it weren't for home taping, there would only be, I, 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 well, I'm not sure exactly, 2,000 people that have the for your... Uh, First seven inch of Agnostic Front. It'd only be so many people that so. many press. So you're putting down home taping. Well, yeah, that's the well, reason we put. How we got that's the reason we home put all our done. songs on the album again because the seven inch there was only no, four thousand made. That's why we put all okay. the songs on the album. Okay, but, but there's, there's not a home taping. taping. There's there's a sick of all demo. Us. There's a lot more copies of the Sick of It All demo than actual. If it wasn't home taping, you guys wouldn't. Yeah, that's the demo. Yeah, we're talking about the demo. Those people came to your show and paid admission. You didn't lose money because of home taping. But the thing is, we're not they paid admission too. Us now. or the club? Yeah, yeah sure and who got who got who like eighty percent of the money? Some, some let me let me tell you something. When that bad. agnostic front United Blood seven inch, right? If they were still doing things that way, though, the band would be broken up because everyone would have to go get day jobs because you can't survive there's, off that. If you make it, you, make guys, you got you got Discord. I mean, he did pretty well on his. And yeah. Ian well. SST did pretty well too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and may I add that they are all distributed through important records. All of these. Okay, we we. In the future, are not going to have anything to do with important and relative. Starting when? When you but pull your records out of it? When you pull uh, Sam's compilation? Well, I don't have anything house? to do with Sam's When's compilation. When's that going to happen? Right, you say in the future singles. now, but you've already used it. But there's you've a big difference between being distributed by them and and being on that actual label and having to answer <laughs> so to those people. So explain that to me. I don't think that Discord is going to this. Who do we answer? You answer to the people who say, if nothing has ever been to change the SH word off your record, We'll put it in a few more places. Well, right here, guys, you're compromising yourself because you can't curse on this curse. radio station. So, so you're right. compromising yeah, that's, that's, right that's there. a great example of why it's so important to nip it in the bud because we already can't even curse on, on the air. 
Now, how far is that going to go? You think you guys, you you guys weren't even asked to by any authority, and you took that word and whatever couple of words off the record. You took a whole bunch of lyrics off the record. We already can't do it on the air. Howard Stern gets a whole lot of problems. A lot of other people who are putting out records get a lot of problems about censorship. And here you are, who is not even giving it a fight. No, but you, you, you guys... I just go back to my point of, is it better that, the, that we don't put out our records with, you know, don't get it to these stores, so these kids in the Midwest, just all they get to listen to is Madonna, is John Bon Jovi, but whoever. There's, there's a huge, or there's a huge middle ground. All you, all yeah, you need not, is to get a, a copy of MRR, and you'll be able to get any one of our records. And yeah, that's MRR true, and MMR will just sit there and country. slag us to death. It's distributed throughout the country. MRR the, does... Those I, guys aren't big business at all. They're not, no. <laughs> well, yeah. For, yeah. Yeah. Maximum yeah. rock and roll is, sto- is stocked wall-to-wall with IBM computers, pal. Oh, I know okay. people who work there. For, for and they're also distributed Also there. distributed by important well, records. They don't, they don't censor their magazine. They put it out the way they want to, and that's the way it's put out. And they can put it out throughout the country like that. Your, your band has said repeatedly that no one has the right to tell us what to do. We have the right to, to live our lives and the way we our see decision. fit. Right. I'm, we're not disagreeing with you. We're agreeing with you. No one has the right to tell you to censor your record. No one can do that to you. And by saying, yes, it's okay, you're hurting the entire medium. The medium, the music, is the message. It's not... And that's the lyrics. Lyrics. Yeah, yeah, when they music. buy the record. They when get the a kids, compromised record. They don't get a What's compromised record. They just don't get, they don't get the curse words printed on the actual curse. jacket. That's something they their parents tell them not to do. Don't curse. Don't buy But it's song. on the record. It's in the grooves. You hear the songs. The curses are still there. If that's so important to you that the curses are there, it's they're the still there. It's not the actual word that someone But the thing is, the way I look at it is we got over on these store owners. We told them, okay... No, they got over, got over you. on your customers. Yeah, well, that's what you say. But anyway, the customers, customers still have the music that they wanted. The customers, the customers uh, still have the music that they wanted. You can't even print a swear on it. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> what's you're, that? You're, you're, sen- you're sending a message that this is a form of exactly music which, is, which has been... And that's why they changed it to... Which has been tamed. Exactly. That's why they sure if you look on our album, what's it say? In effect, Hollis, New York. All right, all right, all right. Do you guys... Um, are there other issues... Are there other issues you want to bring up? We've spent about 15 minutes on censorship, so I think they're kind of at a standstill. I don't know if there's other things you wanted to bring up. One point about how you guys say that nobody's coerced to do anything, uh, change their lyrics or anything. With Killing Time, when they changed their name from Raw Deal, I've talked to some people who are in law, and they said that there is no reason. Dave Stein said that there is no law at all that says that Raw Deal had to change their name to Killing Time. In trademark. That, was, that was just plain cowardice. That, well, that, Dave, was, that was just not taking you. Uh, you like see if you if you worked and sat next to me at work, then you would have the right to say that. But you don't because you don't see what goes on there. What happened was there was a band called Raw Deal who was signed to a worldwide demo deal to Atco Records, which is a part of Atlantic, which is part of like one of the biggest corporations in the world. We uh, they started this with a letter said we're going to sue you for the rights to this name, which doesn't mean that we wouldn't eventually win the suit or something somewhere down the line, but it would mean that the Raw Deal slash Killing Time album would not come out for the foreseeable future. Like, ten years, they could put a hold on it. Shouldn't that send you a message that perhaps the uh, the larger scale, the big picture music industry world may not be as hospitable to underground music as the underground scene? First of all, we don't give a crap about the music industry. I work in the music industry, and all everybody does is kiss each other's asses. And you know, that's right, right. You're right. They don't show any fucking Oops. respect <laughs> for us. They don't show any respect for a hard right. man. So, so, so why do you listen? listen? And now, and now with a, with a, with a and now with a label like In Effect. You finally no, have these hardcore bands getting get the respect. tours that these metal bands would normally get. You have hardcore bands getting respect and sales figures and getting these stores and At getting their price? music. Respect yeah. from At who? Who? And who? Whose respect do you want? We don't want anybody. Fans' respect. respect. We just want to get out you to as many people as you can. Fans, you've had it since, you, be, since you're more, first time. More, more Apparently people. not, because people who are coming up with these, uh, it started with Life's Blood was the first band I know to ever attack us. Sick of it all, personally, which I didn't like at all. I don't uh, understand I, why these people attack us, you know? For no reason, in, uh, in my eyes. What what specific thing that are, are you talking I can't about? Remember. That we said? These were like we long ago. we lost. I'll address it if you tell me what it was. Personal attacks. None. Well, personally, I don't buy these fanzines that attack us. I read them in the store and throw them back on the shelf because I'm That's not going to support, support, support the scene. Oh, it's I a good way to support some money. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a good way to support some money. Let me finish my point. If you ever did a fanzine, can I finish my point here? Finish his point. Should I support these people who to tear at us? Who first of all, personal attacks and smashing through. Which personal has, attacks and other fanzines whose names I can't even remember. Oh, I should yeah, pay I mean, for these fanzines. You can, well, you can well, buy, man, I support plenty of fanzines. Hey, uh, what's, you whatever your name one? is from Lice Blood, 
You're talking about supporting the scene? Who were you opening for like a year ago? Whose fans were you trying to sell your seven inches to? My band. Uh, who yeah, supported you? Wait, you? I, I know, you were tall at the door and said that everyone there was there to see you and your band. Yeah, and on yeah. top of that, people, our name was yeah, this Agnostic Front. People yeah, came to see us. Maybe, 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 to play with Agnostic Front, and I don't know how much money you guys made. There was a thousand people there, and when we got when we when the show ended, we found out that door price was like twelve bucks. I don't know. We got like eighty bucks. I don't know how much you got. How much but you I'm not. Into, I'm how not. Much how much we got paid on to get a ride? So I don't know, but I'm not eternally grateful. We're getting our place. We got paid. Yeah, but that's how you get your fans biting off the biting off the crowd. All right, all right, all right. We had a we had a question. A caller wanted to know if um. Yeah. You guys would tell about how much you make from being on Effect Records. Like, how much does a hardcore band actually make well, from being on a record label like that? Well, we these two crap-ass jobs, and we these sure don't make much. Jobs. We're making money off the off the uh, the writing of the of the songs, which yeah. is something you never see on any other independent label, and it's hel it helps us out to stay on the road to keep the band together. Plus, plus the label the gives you money to keep your gas yeah, in your band. Can I ask you something? Like, um, in Effect is supported by a large label and important, right? Yeah, CBS. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, how long would would CBS provide the money to, in effect, to put out these bands if the if people didn't stop buying the records? I mean, but the thing is, that's that's pretty much a moot point because yeah. the whole first CBS bought a fifty percent share, which is not a controlling share of important like a few months ago, and I mean the sick of it all record isn't even an issue because it was out like a but year a before of, they okay, even like became involved. A lot of people involved. say that the a lot of people say a lot of okay, stuff. No, a lot of people say that the reason that the the larger uh, labels are getting into hardcore now is just because that's a segment of the market that they can make some money off. How do you respond to that? I don't think that the people, personally, I don't, from the meetings I've been in, I don't think the people at CBS are even aware of hardcore. They see it just in terms of something like important record distributors is like a profitable company and they could see it mm -hmm. growing and exactly. it's an interest exactly. there. Exactly. That's the point. And they, and they well, you're not letting me finish SST, my point. They Discord, distribute SST, Discord, Life's Blood, Blood 7 Inches, Evacuate Records compilations, and they see this thing as growing and they see that they want part of it, but they bought into it. They but they don't buy seem the to company. know what it's about. Doesn't, doesn't that Can strike I just, you as unusual? Well, well you don't know what it's about either. Here. If you guys look at the uh, Ignacy from the Victim in Pain on Rat Cage Records, who do you think helped them put that out? Important. And where important were you guys supporting the scene back then? Hardcore, hardcore, important, a lot really longer than the Agnostic people. Agnostic Front, when they put out the second uh, pressing of that record. No, the and people they weren't even aware, aware of how sure many were, were either, right? uh, pressed towards the end. I know people who were in Agnostic Front at the time who weren't even aware of how many were pressed. I know people who were that on that album who weren't told when it was uh, repressed on combat. Well, that's really not an issue for combat to address. It's an issue for the band's lousy management to address, which I could tell you at the time, we had lousy management. We had Connie Barrett pretending <laughs> to manage <laughs> us. You weren't in the band then, were you? When that reissue, when reissue came out, came yes, out, I was yeah. in the band. That was well, censored, that reissue. Mm -hmm. What? That reissue was censored. And the band gave permission. Roger designed the new cover. I know. They weren't forced to do it. I know they did. I know they censored it themselves. Well, let him bring up these points. More um, because Roger was sick of the original cover than anything else. <laughs> so I was there when he was redesigning it. Okay, is there a new point? Or? Yeah, oh, I, okay. I had a point to make from Pulse Magazine. Steve Martin wrote a, an article for it about hardcore. Yep. And in, the in part of the conclusion uh, is a paragraph that says, Major label management and booking agency interest in current incarnations of hardcore sport on a slipshod reunions of early 80s core icons or shallow imitations of those defunct out outfits. Any of these phenomena may herald the end of an era for some. Now, you're mentioning things which it seems to me you're involved in, and then the following paragraph you say, the fact remains that successive generations have continued to press their own records, book their own shows, screen their own shirts, and publish their own zines. That, in sum, is why this overview has no ending. Now. You I'm guys, and for I'm a actually long time, giving having been the people who are putting out their own fanzines and screening their own shirts and what else is here, putting, um, putting out their own records. records. You guys aren't the people who are doing that. We're the people who are doing that, and you're saying that that's why this overview has no ending. But I don't let, me, let me tell you something. Do you have a job? Yeah, I do. And if you work hard enough at this job, do you want to raise? Yeah, obviously. So basically. We this come from that background. We see right. a, we see an opportunity to make things better for not only for myself. Do you think that I'm like some sort of corporate mogul that I, I sit around all day with with a cigar in my mouth, and my feet up? You're not addressing what I said here. All right, what's you're, the point? What's your question? My question is, how do you how do you resolve the fact 
that you guys said resolve it. How do you how do you come to terms with the fact that you said that the reason that hardcore will continue is because people continue to press a, their own records. It, that's just book it their is, own it is good that And you know, if anything, if anything, if anything, you're being sort of like if, if anything, you're you're being sort of an ingrate here or you're just like refusing a compliment because if anything, that's a compliment to you. That I said that because I see that going on. I know what's going on. I'm not detached from this scene, you know? I see what's going on. And I'm saying that that's good. I'm lauding that. The thing is, if you do that for long enough, and you want to better it, and you want to better it for a bunch of other bands. Like, I mean, sure, when I was an agnostic from when I first joined, the people who were at combat, they didn't understand it. I didn't like that. So I did my best to get in there and change that, and to make sure that the hardcore bands wouldn't get the short end of the stick, to make sure that the hardcore bands sold to their full potential no matter what it took, to make sure they got their royalties, to make sure they got tour support, to make sure they got the best tours, to make sure they got getting taken care of, to make sure their merchandising was taken care of. That's what I do almost 24 to hours a day. To make sure also that the records were parent approved, that they were safe. Whose parents are approving them? It's the <laughs> band. Why do you keep harping on that? It's the band. Ask me. Ask me if I like the packaging of a record. What do you think? I put Agnostic Front, uh, Liberty, and just... Mom, do you think this is okay? The point is you can do all those things without screwing people over. And you can do all those things without having to charge 8 and $10 for show prices. You can do all those things without having to censor your own records. It can be done. It has been done. It's, it's been who, did it? who did no, it? Who did it? 8 or 10 Who did it? The Dead Kennedys? I heard you mention Dead Kennedys before. The Dead Kennedys were getting like $7,000 guarantees to play the world back in like 1983. All right, all right, all right, right. Hold on. Let me say something. About the, you know, the ticket price or whatever. See, when a promoter sees that, like, say, well, oh, they're getting big. So I could charge these kids whatever I want. Are we getting the money from them? No, we're not. The yeah, guy... Fine, we don't play the show. We're, we're on your side. Is, and then the kids in this town say, oh, see, well, scumbags, no. they don't come and, to our and town. And that happens to us so many times. Rock stars because now, do, which yeah. is what we've been hearing. Do you if really think that everybody who's booked tours across the nation in hardcore bands has gone through promoters that... that and, and, and that they, they, and they, they the book shows. these, they I book mean, these, and I've been on independently booked tours, I know what they're like, you know, when I was in the FUs, they were booking their own tours, and you get dicked over, you go on these dick tours, you play steakhouses for $125, you play for nothing, you lose money, you turn around, you go back, you put money in a few scumbag club owners' pockets, and what do you got to show for it? Then Dick. you go back to work. And then you go back to your day job, and the band breaks and up, because everyone's sick of that. you really do wish that you were still on the road, finally, maybe making a little money, that you could work at the job Why do you that think, you want to do. I'm just, just, just throwing out this question to you. Why do you think Discord Records or Fugazi or Black Flag Fugazi, a band, a band that, as they did? a band that, that uh, somebody like, who was it? Are you, you're Adam. Yeah. Were you the one who said that Fugazi was a um, piece of expletive deleted trendy band? Didn't you say that in one of those interviews? Maybe it has nothing to do with it. But, but whether well, I like you're their singing their praises well, now, but then you turn around and stab them in the back, Fugazi just like you do to us. Fugazi can do it because they're living off of Discord. Now maybe if. Years ago, me and Pete started our own the record alleyway uh, record label, and he did it. It took off then. as big as Discord. Fine, I'd be living it. And then nobody that too. would say anything about it, even though it would be almost the same exact thing. It is almost the Discord same exact is, thing because I don't Discord. Know, because, no, but Discord is really big. They Discord, make a you lot don't know how big. We're not against bigness. We're not against making money. Perhaps you misunderstood that. What, what we're against is screwing people over in the process. And so how are we screwing over? And compromising, and compromising yourself in order to make. Which is what you're doing. The only compromise you're we've done honest. so far is not taking the advice of all our friends who, quote unquote, from back in the day said, don't talk to these kids, just kick their asses, all right? That's the only compromise I've been making. Well, you, you Because everybody's been telling us this shit. I've been whoa, seeing these whoa, whoa, fans, whoa, all this crap. Well, you've Listen. been saying that hardcore is about saying what you want. Well, we're saying what we're you saying want. We're saying it right now. But personal attacks and all that. So what about it? We're not ever going to get Never made a have? personal attack. Never have? You're the singer of Born Against? Yeah. yeah. What's this about? Making fun of the jackets in effect gave us? They gave us free jackets. Big deal. Right. So? What's, how, a, what's how that? How is that a personal attack? That's an attack that's on the an attack. No, that's an attack on us. How is that? You said exact words. If I remember exactly where... Oh, uh, oh, they got their big football jackets and stuff. Yeah, fine, I got a football jacket. You want to say something about it? We you want to do three. something it's about it? like a playground fight. Alright, wait. There's, all right, all right, there's right. no reason why in a scene that's supposed to be united or trying to be united that Try to be united, but you guys wait, 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 everybody Whoa! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Everybody Let's Sam talk for a second. Opinions, okay? And what happens is when these things escalate like this, then bands like you go on stage and say things. And then you guys right in your little but, fans. And you wait, wait, we gave them the plenty of chances to talk to us before, and but nobody it, wanted to talk to us. Then I said something in front of 2,300 kids at the Ritz, and also everybody wants to talk to us. Yeah, right, you know what's because, funny? Because what I think a lot of this comes out of jealousy, because you can't reach as many people as this band can, I'm because wrong, more you, people like them. You're wrong, you're wrong. Well, maybe I am, but, you know, I don't know. I bet you half the people that you guys keep spreading your stuff to, 
They, they don't believe it either. Hold on, hold on. There was one... I think it should be explained what happened at the Ritz, because I don't know if anyone, if everyone who's listening was there. So, Sam, I guess, Lou, kind of, the people well, involved in that? Supporting the benefit? Yeah, you weren't supporting no, Amnesty? No. Oh, a non-profit no. benefit that these bands played? That when people play at, at big places like that, that a lot of the money goes to the promoter. I don't have uh, money. I sent my $10 in envelope to Amnesty. It's a better yeah, way to get and paid. I am right a, I've been a member of Amnesty. So so I've seen Amnesty at the same time. time, time so so they could take 30% of your shirt profits. That's what I did. They didn't compromise like that. And you know, don't you pay rent to a club owner to keep your clubs open that you go to? We pay, we pay as, I don't run the club, so I don't know exactly what we pay. Yeah, you guys never know exactly. I don't, I'm not sure. Well, as far as ABC and Rio, we pay, 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 pay a percentage of what we get at the door. Why? So. Why are you doing independent? Why are you doing it in your basement? Why don't you have all your friends to come in your basement? Well, Same first, size I don't, see, I don't see why Rio. you should be so... Um, well, Sam, I don't, I don't know if you were part of this yeah, side so of the not, table, not, so... We just wanted that... Yeah, but you are without you are without saying so because it's implied by all the things that you said about these bands. You said about well, in effect. What I said about the hypocrisy is what I wrote inside the liner notes of my the introduction to my booklet and my album was basically because I find that a lot of people have the perception of New York hardcore as being all you know like the Revelation and the in effect bands. That's why I wrote that because I want to let people know that there's an alternative to those bands. Not saying those bands are bad. Yeah, but instead it. of saying so that there's an alternative, you okay. said, and I quote because I remember it, you said generic metal mosh. You should have stuck with in effect. Yeah. You have to make some sort of bar because, because you're because jealous because those bands are bigger and more influential and no, will always be. I like number one. I like Sigurdsson. I like Killing Time a lot. Okay. Now, what I do is I read reviews all the time, and every time we read a review of a band that's a copy of Sigurdsson, a copy of Killing Time, the review always says New York style. It always says that. That's and that's fact. not New York style, though. Yes, it is, that's, pal. That's two good bands. Style now. And Breakdown. It's like, like when DC, wherever it is. Yeah, why they call it DC? So right now they call it New York style because those those bands happen at the moment to be the most influential. Just what, just like right, they are New York influential, style used to be AF, Chromax, Murphy's Law. Right, but I... Who are those three bands you guys wait, never attacked for some reason? Yeah, Chromax, Chromax, and... Wait, hold on. Chromax and Murphy's Law are nothing alike. No kidding. Neither are Sigurdsson and Killing Time. Killing Time plays slow in the tempo. But the bands, all these bands that now copy these guys they copy them like word for word and riff for riff okay and fault? that's not your fault as i'm saying that i like your band but the thing is i don't like happening. i can hear influence all right let's say i'm talking for a second of earlier bands, and bands reviews and reviews and all these fanzines i hear people constantly saying oh you know new york style is this or that and i get a lot of letters from people who got my album and they say oh i'm really glad to find that this, you know this album is different it's not the new york that i expected because it's well different. all i can say is more power to you because i don't just go home and mosh in my room metal style to sick of it all and killing time every night i have a huge record collection of all different kinds of music of and i'm glad sure you that you have the chance to express yourself like that but for some reason you guys seem to think that we're doing something evil by expressing okay. something on a please, larger level please don't say, say you guys because i do not disagree saying that we're destroying the, the underground Wait saying a that no but you said Wait. in that in those liner notes too what which I, said, I also read you said oh all these nyhc bands using that as a as a genetic term and trying to sell out arenas. I didn't say that. Of crap. I, I I did. that. The word arena is, is in it Sam. Is it is not. Wait, let me explain something. Number one, on the back of the booklet, there's an essay by Sam Against. That's him? That's him. Okay. From Born Against. I wrote what's inside the front cover. Okay. I am Sam. Sam Evac. Sam I am. Whatever. The thing is, I do not go against what In Effect does. Yeah, yeah, I do not go against bands wanting to make money off their music, and I don't think that all the points... Who makes the money for your compilations, anyway? Venus? Important? You? Venus has Why is it 500 limited edition white vinyl? That Why don't the bands getting... make that money? Why aren't the bands getting statements every four and six months? They do. Every six yeah, months. Yeah, I don't believe that. Why contract... not every four months, too? I have too? contracts with all the bands. Are you, are you in a band on my, on my comp? Yes, I am. Okay, do you, do you get royalties? Yes, I do. Okay. Hey. The thing is... I got a question. I've been getting phone is ringing off the hook. Everybody wants to ask you, what is your opinion of all the violence they feel since you're here? They could ask you that question actually now. Well, well, can, I, can I finish a couple points? Why don't we? Oh, don't let's get to that afterwards. afterwards. Wait, 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 wait. Well, but yeah. getting back to violence, though, is that you start saying, you know, you should listen to your friends and start kicking some ass. Yeah, well, I, then, well he's, he's not. not. He's but he's good. not. And as a matter of fact, I, I hear that Pete saved you from getting your ass kicked on. Well, I'm sure you have to tell those guys that. to go home that day. I never knew that, and I really appreciate that. But... The thing well, is, that it should never get to violence. I mean, no kidding. Right. Why do you think we're here look, discussing look, look, rationally with you? Just stand around right. and wait to start fights. Right, but look, I mean, this is not this is not the, the age of the issue. Sh this is not the age of the Chromags and bags and Mark Dagger, you know, beating people up for the hell of it or whatever. 
I mean, the thing is that you should not. Yeah, you, know, why you didn't listen why to you think we didn't do anything? Why That's good, but why didn't How come when we came down to ABC No Real that weekend, nobody would talk to us? I because called to were, Dave. Dave was less than 50 feet away from me. Uh, this is, Dave, I've known for years. I've called him. This is getting a little on the personal side here. This is getting a little on the per We want a little broader issue than sick of it all versus everybody else. Well, I mean, you guys... Is it true that there's uh, phone at the right end of phone. what is it injustice system that there's a thing uh, anti-gang violence message on the video, at the end on the video? Uh, okay. Okay. Stop the gang no. violence. No. no. In any case, I know that in, in that's in not case, true. That's not right. point, okay. Well, uh, in this letter to Dave, you say, "Of course, I'm against violence," which I would I assume am. everyone is. But not everyone is. No. I would assume I, I am. Well, anyone for the record will say so, but. Why are why are bands like Killing Time and Stick with All their songs like It's My Revenge is Clobbering Time G.I. Joe Head Stomp? Yes, oh, we no. called hardcore. Yeah. Hold on, that's a like hard. Can I tell you something? Did you guys I mean, know anything about it? It's My Revenge. Do you ever read the lyrics? Hmm. I don't, know. don't you jump I don't in? Know. It's not your fight. Your ideas mean shit to me. Boom. You ain't on my side. It's all about one guy getting. We have to censor that. All right. I have to censor him. Now Clobbering Time. That's just the title of an instrumental. You know where it's from? It's from a comic book. You ever read the Did Fantastic you Four? Head stomp? You know what that is? Our old drummer made it up. It was just a joke. He had an old G.I. head of it. You know why? Because Revelation was asking for G.I. Joe head dolls, trading them for like all things. So he broke his just as a joke. Like, look, I ain't going to trade it. And that's how we got the title for okay, that. Okay, fine. We're, we're this not, has nothing to do with what, How does this promote violence? What we want is kids to us. When we got into hardcore, Agnostic Front and Chrome Edge were like the big up and coming bands. Didn't they do something to you guys when you seen them? Didn't they make you a little music make you want to do something? Make you wanna, it, that's how we release. I can hear you read shades of that music in all of your in all you your bands. You read any interview that we've said. said. Wait, you can read any interview that we've we've ever said. All I've ever said is hardcore has always been an outlet for us. It's a place to go to get away from fucking everybody Whoa. that you know, work, school, whatever you want to do, whatever you do. It's an outlet for us, and that's what our music is—an outlet. It's not to promote violence, not to promote beating each other up. I mean, what are these guys and doing? Are they standing up on a stage singing, or are they beating people up in some redneck bar? What are they doing? Judge them by their actions, and not by what you read their lyrics to be. And before we I mean, play, don't have time. You got idiots misinterpreting what people. Estes, what people misinterpreting are. Before, the And before yeah, we like play, yeah, like a bunch of little idiots. And before we play shows, I most of the time I always come out and I say stuff like. Like, uh, at a couple of big shows I've come out and I've said, I want to see people knocking each other down, throwing each other around, but then you're going to treat each other like the person you knocked down was your little brother, and you're going to pick them up off the floor. That's what I always say. And you know, it really gets me mad that you would say something like when I, How do we personally, like, violence? playing down south, when I was at Agnostic Front, playing shows that we were headlining with, like, yeah, like a thousand angry redneck music fans there, whether they were metalheads, skinheads, whatever they were, that they started fighting and they wouldn't stop. we walk off the stage after 20 minutes. We didn't get paid. We risked our lives leaving there. People would be throwing stuff at us. Right. All right, all right. There's only four minutes, four minutes left, and I kind of wanted to have like maybe these summary statements, or if you guys have any um, closing I remarks. See, all that I want to settle with this is, we didn't come here to make friends with anybody, because I feel that we're getting the raw end of the stick. You know, everybody's giving us crap about stuff that they don't know nothing about. I just want these people to leave us alone and stop talking about us. Let, let me say something. And to us, me and Louis, this is our job. We put, we put eight years of our lives into slam dancing, stage diving. I didn't go to college because of my band. My band is my life. And not, someone's going to say, oh, you can't charge that much and stuff. And, and I mean, when did you... my living. Like, my, like we said to you, you wouldn't work a job without getting a raise, right? This is our raise. You quit. I, I mean, I've worked jobs like getting raises. And, and then you quit and, and got a different I mean, job, didn't you? <laughs> Same thing with you us. Know, what's the point? Sure get, if, if that's the way you feel, you know, what's the point in what's the point in, in Life's Blood opening for Agnostic Front at a bigger show? Why don't you just headline your own shows the same 50 kids every week? You wanted to play with different bands. Yeah, you wanted to play with different bands, not smaller bands, right? All right, well, you guys, um, you uh, want to have some I final say remarks? That, um, we're not against uh, a band. We're not against personal people. We're, we're on the side of the band, and we're telling... We're, what we're saying is that no one has the right to take away your right of free speech, including your record label. No one we has don't take has. it away. No one, no one has the right to tell you what to do. I, and my, I think your, uh, your statement against our or whatever, slagging your band personally, well, that's part of our par it's a prerogative of the First Amendment of free speech, that if we feel that your band has done something that bothers us, that's what it's all about, handing of out a flyer. Of course it is. Handing out a flyer to show. Handing out a flyer, right? Not, not doing saying it to their face. Well, we'll, 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 we'
personally, like, like, like a bunch of girls. Personally, I of course most people are saying what's the matter with girl? I don't understand. You guys are saying all right, all right. It's a sarcastic statement. You said a lot of homophobic things in your last interview. I read those fans, man. Oh, let's let's not get started on that. That could be debate number two. Okay. I don't understand. I mean, you guys are getting to the point where almost. I mean, I'm not saying you've ever gotten violent, but you're getting extremely annoyed at something that we see as our prerogative. See, and that comes back. That comes back to my thing because. Me and Lou, like I said, we put eight years of our lives into it, and you guys haven't been around as long as we have. And don't say you know it was, because it doesn't no, matter I'm to me. Not saying that. Right, I don't recognize you one guys, of you guys. You guys come That's along, it. and then you tell me and how to run my band. You I, tell me the rules. There are no rules in hard rock. Exactly. I never you know, rules. Now, well, then how come you just said, well, you don't let your record company do this? You don't let Maybe your record company do that? Even right. when you're totally wrong. Even when it was their choice. But there's no rules. How come you can't swear? What I want to say it? is, my my point is, we decided not to, so we could get to the midwest to the vinyl belt one. So you could sell it in mall chain stores and Yep, and get it to the people who want it. Get it to the people who want it. The music should have No! The lyrics were! Okay. We just in the vinyl. All right, all right. On the vinyl. All right, all right. I think we made that point at the beginning. What music? What is You just better stay the hell out of here, all right? All right, all right. Yeah, those kids are No blood, no blood. Wait a minute. Those kids are putting out that Molly Crew. Yo, 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 Pete. Those kids are putting out that Molly Crew thing. You better fucking watch out for me. All right, that's it, that's it, that's it. Fuck you! All right, that's it, man. That's it. Thank you very much, NYU. Thank you. Hearing this message means you listen to alternative music. Get tired of hearing the same five songs all day long? Chances are you're probably bored with the same news people covering the same issues over...